Like the protests that you just saw, many in Portland, as you know, do get violent time and again. That's why today the mayor has made a pitch to the city to approve a new ordinance aimed at keeping protests peaceful. The public hearing today was met with a heavy security presence. KGW's Pat Doris is live at City Hall with this story. Pat. Well, Laurel, the testimony took most of the day here at City Hall. The issue, the clashes between dueling violent protests that we've seen here in Portland so many times in the last couple of years. Everybody seems to agree the violence is bad. Trickier question, how to stop it. This brawl between Patriot Prayer and Antifa in mid-October pushed the mayor and the police chief to look for more options. Chief Danielle Outlaw today said staffing for the violent protests have already cost taxpayers $440,000 just this year and that it's time to look for new tools. We've been doing the same thing and getting the same results. At what point do we look for new ways to come up with a different solution? The mayor wants the power to tell dueling protest groups where they can gather if three conditions are met. The groups must have a history of violence and the safety of bystanders or protesters is at risk and there's a substantial likelihood of violence. One of several speakers on the other side of the issue today, Joanne Hardesty, the newly elected city commissioner. I have been extremely disappointed in watching how Portland Police Bureau has responded to out-of-town hate groups who show up and take over our downtown streets. She told commissioners to slow down and wait until she's sworn in after the new year before they decide the proposal. On the streets of Portland, I stopped people at random today and not one said the plan seemed like a bad idea. I think it'll save lives. I mean, I'm a product of the 60s, so there was lots of protests and they were right up in, you know, I mean, I think it would save lives. I think it's probably pretty safe to keep them separate. It's better to keep as much violence away from each other and out of the city as possible. I think that'd probably be the best because no one wants that. No one wants chaos to happen, you know? No one wants there to be like any violence. Current city commissioner Dan Saltzman says he backs the mayor's idea. I'm concerned about the, uh, the stridency of the protesters that are coming to Portland uh, on whatever you name the reason issue, but they're, they're gonna hurt one another at some point. And I think this is a reasonable step to, to keep Portlanders safe. By the way, I checked in on that brawl from mid-October. Still no arrests. Police say they are still working on the case. And city commissioners are expected to vote on what happened here today, next week. Back to you. It'll be interesting to see what they come up with. Thank you, Pat. We're going to continue to track this protest and this story. Stay with us on air, online at KGW.com and with our mobile app. It's free to download. Stay up to date with this and other stories.